Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to do um, a little reading from the book Engler Alheimsins, which means Angels of the Universe. It's an Icelandic book uh, by Einar Maur Guðmannsson, and uh, yeah, it's about, um, um, it's basically about a mental institution called, uh, called Kleppur, um, from the perspective of one of the, of one of the inpatients. Okay, so I've written out the first paragraph here um, in full, and I've divided it into sections to make it more uh, grammatical, to kind of hi to be able to highlight the grammar. Uh, first, I'm going to just um, read it out and then do a loose translation. So, after a year var coming in a clap, get spitalan, sem stendur eins og risa stór hut with havet. Mintis tietes, they are ye valitit drengur, or stow eight rek grauan thokadag, au hol outre götini, or horthi au husin or potlana. Okay, and that means loosely, um, after I had come to, Kle to Klepur, um, the mental hospital, uh, sorry, not, um, whatever the psychiatric hospital um, that stands like a huge palace by the harbour. I, rem um, I, um, I remembered when I was a little boy and stood on one um, rainy grey foggy day um, on the um, uh, on the pothole street and looked at the houses and the puddles. And now I'm going to do a proper, a proper big translation with all the parts, with all, all the parts explained. Okay. Uh, after a, that means uh, after, or after that, after. Yevar uh, komin. This is okay. So um, uh, var is the past tense of avera for singular. So that's yevar. Uh, It'll be thu varst and han var. Um, and komin is the adjective form of the verb uh, of the verb a koma comes from the past participle avera um and it's changed to komin because uh, it's an adjective describing a male so it's got the masculine ending that would be the neuter ending normally so if you want to say the child had come but var Komit. So if you want to say a, a, a masculine thing or a masculine person has come, you would say Kormin. Um Yes, so, and yeah, um, in Icelandic you can use a hava or, say, a hava, like you do in English. Uh, I um, I had come, uh, ye have the something, I had something, or you can, uh, you can but um, Ice Icelandic normally uses um, in some cases, a vera, and you would say, I had come, as in, ye var komin, uh, in the example. Okay, and so that means, I had come. Uh, next, the next section, I've, I've selected, in au klep, ger spitalen. Um, now, I've done this because, okay, so, um, in au klep uh, is means means kind of like in onto klepper klepper is uh the place it's a place and uh it is masculine you can tell that from the uh, it's a pretty regular ending um the u r at the end and in the accusative when you're talking about going onto something going into something uh you'll talk you'll use that in accusative it's motion um then uh then you just take away the u r and you get clap um now in this phrase, so so this section here, this short section means in in onto clep, in onto klepper, or just into klepper. Um, uh, then I'm, then the next section is gesbi uh, talam. Now that that is the accusative form again, the same as the same as klep here. Um, the nominative form would be gesbi talin. Um, Ged means uh, like mind, sort of, uh, like, 
so it means like the mind hospital or the psychiatric hospital um, and when you're putting that in accusative you change that to and there you change that to there it's the um, you, you split the word into into the first part and then this and the second part and the second part get, the second part is the one get, that gets changed this means hospital um, and uh, yeah, it's in accusative because you're still talking. You're still talking about about klepper and you're describing it, but you're describing it in exactly in the, si the same phrase. Um, so it's like I s if I said when I met my mother, the nice lady, or something, uh, then then you're still describing the mother as if she was still the object of the first of the first phrase. So after you have a common in a klep, okay, um, semstender. That stands. Uh, the verb is uh, standa, and the present uh, singular goes yestend, fu, uh, stendur, and han, stendur. And in this case, that's han as the third person, and that's the uh, that's the form we're using. We're using. We're talking about the the um, the noun, the third person noun, gespitli. Um, so, so you're using the third person singular there. Um, sem stender, oh, and sem in this case just means like that, sem, that. Um, einsog, uh, einsog is uh, like, is normally written as two words and it just means like. Um, uh, risa stor, uh, risa stor hurt. Uh, hurt is a feminine, um, feminine noun which means a palace um, and because it's feminine you need the feminine adjective um, risa stor is just means it means huge stor means big and risa stor means huge and that is the the masculine and also the feminine form there and using that in nominative because you're saying it's standing like something and it, whenever, whenever you use einsog as a phrase the next thing is almost indefinitely um, is almost indefinitely nominative. Okay, with harbour, so it's standing like a big, like a huge um, palace by the harbour. With harbour, now, uh, no, sorry, um, by the by the sea. Um, now, have, I think I made a mistake earlier in the video. There, have means um, yeah, it means the, the sea. Um, so harbour is the definite form, the sea. And with, um, it's a bit of an irregularity in the, t in the fact that it, uh, it's talking about location, but it's, um, and like static location, but it, it takes, it still takes the accusative. So just remember that with, when you're talking about like sitting by the table, asetia with bordet, again that's neuter, uh, it's the same as the, the nominative and the accusative there. Uh, so just remember that. Okay, so by not by the harbour, so by the um, by the by the water, by the sea. Mintist yetes, they are. Okay, so um, first off, you got the verb mintist from uh, admintast. It's um, it's the middle voice. Oops, sorry. It's the middle voice of aminta. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but. Um, a mintast means to remember, um, and um, ye mintist is basically I remembered. And this verb, a mintast, uh, takes the genitive, it's one of the rare ones that takes the genitive. Um, so thes is the genitive form of tha. So mintist, mintist ye thes, thega. Uh, now you, you you're, you're using um, you're talking about tha because um, you're talking about tha as in thes because there is uh, you're just talking about the situation. So I I remember it when um, so I remember it when and then after that you've got to have some kind of phrase phrase about it. So when 